stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Uh, your ancestors have been through over 400 years of slavery, reconstruction, redlining, Jim Crow, all types of racist things. Still we achieve, still we rise, still we the apple of the world's eye. Black people in America are the 15th greatest economy in the world. America is the number one greatest economy in the world. Everybody tries to, everybody wants to come in, man. People coming across Mexico and, and want to force their way into the United States. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, uh, Afghanistan's all come here, hanging on planes. Haitians trying to get here, and they on horses, shipping them back home as fast as possible. Uh, you know, so uh, why leave? Why go somewhere else when you have all these opportunities here? This is, of course, you're not taking advantage of opportunities. It's of course, you're letting the, uh, the past uh, live in your present and not stay in the past where it belongs. You can rise. You can become anything you want to become in this country. Uh, so let's, let's talk about conduct, definition of conduct. The manner in which a person behaves, especially on a particular occasion or in a particular context. I guess if you're a doctor on duty, you're acting like a doctor. If you're a nurse on duty, you're acting like a nurse. If you're a teacher on duty, you're acting like a teacher. If you're a policeman on duty, you're acting like a policeman. If you're a fireman on duty, you're conducting yourself like a fireman, uh, I guess, right? And I guess when you're not in that particular uniform, you're not in that particular context, then you act the way you freely like to act in any other way. I mean, you go to bars and drink and get drunk. I don't know, maybe you're flirting and whistling at women. Uh, who knows, right? But uh, these are some what, some some conducts that, uh, that you have to deal with, I guess, every day. So let's say, a conduct permitted is conduct taught. I guess if someone keeps doing a certain thing over and over again around you and, and you don't say anything, I guess that's the kind of conduct conduct they feel they can act around you, the way they can, uh, the way they can carry themselves around you. Conduct you permit is conduct you approve. Yeah. Uh, I guess if you can't tell somebody what to do, you don't have any control over something, I don't say that you can really approve it, though it may be happening around you. So if you use pause, if you, if you uh, use uh, poise, you know, you try to you know, keep control of your mouth, your, you know, your tongue, what you say, or your eyes look, poise can take you where passion is not welcome. Do not ride with peasants. Stay in the chariot with kings. Poise is speaking right words when you have wrong feelings. Poise is staying calm during dinner with Judah. Poise is the ability to recognize disrespect without revealing it. Poise is the ability to stay silent in the presence of fools. Yeah, it's gonna take some pause, pause. You know, pause, it's gonna take some some character pause, you know, to stay uh, silent in the presence of fools. You don't wanna make a thing a fool think he's intelligent, so you know, best not start talking to him, because he might as well tell him the truth. Tell him you don't know what the crap he's talking about, and he's on the wrong path. <laughs> don't, don't let him think he's wise in his own eyes. Um, disrespect, right? Recognize disrespect without revealing. Um, that happens all the time, right? Someone's being disrespectful to you. The uh, best thing you do is just, just try to move on and go about your way because if they think they're getting on your skin, they're going to keep riding. They're going to keep being disrespectful to you. They think that it's, it's working on you. It's causing you to say something, do something you wouldn't normally do. That's what people like that want. So, uh, conduct, man. Conduct, we act certain ways around our children that we act around adults. Uh, you know, we act certain ways around our boss that we go around our employees. So, uh, always keep in mind where you, where you are. Where you are, who's looking at you, how you're supposed to carry yourself, how you're supposed to speak, talk, carry on, because conduct is a very important thing. Some people are able to conduct themselves in all kinds of ways, you know, if you're in a nuclear building and you have to sanitize yourself before you go out and de decontaminate yourself, you're acting very professional because you don't want any of these contaminants to get on you. And when you get out there, maybe you ripping and running and jump on your motorcycle and, and, and zigzagging out of traffic. Who knows? But uh, conduct is very important. So stay black in America. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. And remember, um, you know, try to have your conduct in a certain manner. 
be aware where you're at, your surroundings, what you're doing. And, uh, you know, always carry yourself accordingly. Stay black in America. Bye.